Hey guys, welcome to another exciting edition of LEGO Bar 21. I'm your host Ryan and today I'm going to talk to you about three different aspects within my LEGO Bar. The first starting with the Batcave. Big fan of Batman and um, to do it right I wanted to scale to fit my imagination. And to do so I utilized a ton of base plates and it's still a work in progress. I still got to build the rock walls that will form around the bad cave since I have most of the foundation in place. And what is there to see? Now, let me take you through a visual tour of the bad cave itself so I could show you each element specifically of the bad cave. So let's go see. Okay, so starting with the lower level, which is essentially where the bat cave all came together. I created this vault for Bruce Wayne and possibly his allies and they're sitting in the middle of it is a mother box. Why I did that? It's just the way I envision it working. And a little medical chair for him to set him up. Back there eventually will be a little lab where he could have a little clinic or medical area. Uh, continuing back a little behind that chair. Moving up is a training workout area. He's got bench press, dumbbells, a deadlift, where he could really get jacked to fight crime. In here, as some of you have seen in Batman Begins, he fought trying to balance on stilts. That's what inspired me to put this element together. Going in order of my bad cave on how it was built and where it started from then working my way up from there I built the ramp and my own model of the Batmobile this is a Batmobile of my own design and also where Batman has his Hall of Armor where he has all the different suits that he needs. Might have to add some because I got some more Batman suits. And in the background you guys could see that's where Robin can set up where his suits go. But he already changed and he's getting ready to fight. And then you got the back computers. I ordered some of those stickers specifically off BrickLink. Nightwing sitting right next to his back computer as well. Where he could sit, investigate. And then next what I built, going down these stairs onto this ramp and the platform is my Batwing. It can be there and then it sits right on this platform that I have built for it and then a ladder that kind of maybe if it's not there when it comes back a ladder so the character could climb back out. I built it to scale large enough so from the original Justice League movie the Nightcrawler can fit underneath it. Batman has a lot of tech in his bat cave. So again, it just goes right back there on the lighted track where it stoves and gets put away. Next I built the bat boat. Nice bat scale bat boat, two seater even. Call it the Riptide. I built it my own. And a little catwalk so we could go out to his boat. And then last, some of the last things I created were kind of like a mechanic area so he could work on either the Batmobiles or any vehicle he does have. He has extra tires there, a little extra station to work. And along here, if I don't knock him down for you, I have a ton of lights. And then throughout, as you can see, I had to purchase a ton of these supports 
for it to all work together. And then once I am able to create the rock wall that goes around it, you guys will see um, how it kind of intertwines through or maybe some of these supports are in the rock foundation. And then a little built this bat pot on my own. Purchased these two backup Batmobiles as he would never be short of any vehicle in order to fight crime th throughout Gotham City. And that is the Bat Cave. All right, next on uh, what I want to show you guys is Wayne Manor. Um, I can't wait to show you guys this. I'm going to bring it upstairs actually uh, to show you guys. Um, all the aspects of it in natural light. So let's go. Okay, now that we got it upstairs, I can't wait to get, take you guys on a visual tour of the Wayne Manor itself. I will also show you where it came up from, how I started, even the storage bins I have for the specific mock build that I've created. So without any further ado, let's go take a tour. All right, so again, this is where it all started out. I knew I wanted to build a Wayne Manor um, and just like the bad cave, I wanted it to fit the scale of my imagination. The walls are a little bit bigger than where they were, but again, I drew these blueprints out as a rough draft. This is the left side. This is the right side. So again, on the right side and on both sides, you'll see the front door, the windows, chairs, there's a wall, the bar kitchen, dining room. Next side, again the door, stairs going up to the second level, windows, statue hall, library. So once I did it all set up, I kind of did a rough draft of the design. This picture was taken back in March 2020. Let me just show you guys the outside. I did do some more windows because it just worked out that way on the front so going in so I changed up the design a little bit had the chairs and the couch Okay, now you have the bar, the dining room, a little carpet under that, or the table, kitchen, little side door, and then the stairs going up to the second level. And as promised, the statue hall, inspiration from Batman 1989, and the library with a fireplace. So again, I have a bin specifically designated Wayne Manor build. And there I have all the pieces I have needed or will need for Wayne Manor build and some pieces 
specific that I picked up cup wise at the Lego store. I have distributed in this nice nifty organizer in here and I have my tool cup. I got tweezers, a mallet where if you're putting plates down you could really adhere them to the studs a lot better and some Lego separators. Can't do without any of that. And that is my Wayne Manor build. All right, for this third and final segment, I'm gonna take it over to my son, Parker. He's gonna show you. He just got a set from Frozen 2. From oh. Lego Bird 21, I'm the host Parker, and today we can build Rooney from Frozen 2. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I hope everyone enjoyed this episode of Lego Bar 21. Please tune in next time. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless.